Yeah, I just remembered it once when I was flying around on Google Earth. I found some really nice structures and I just followed them. And some of them seem to be rock, some of them seem to be just like sediments carried by water around. And then I thought, that's quite a backyard of whatever facility. Because that's in the pond of the facility itself. And I thought that's really interesting, like those geometrical patterns, geological, geometrical patterns. You will find all kinds of stuff in just this one little place. It's really interesting. And then I wondered what is going on and I recognized that thing. And I immediately knew this is Chernobyl. Yeah, but I didn't knew that the backyard of Chernobyl is so beautiful. That's quite a thing to have these kind of things in the backyard, you know. But I guess no one will ever take a close look at those rocks there. And it's also interesting to see how Earth's electrical grid and humans made electrical grid, which includes nuclear facilities all around the world will cope the incoming CMEs like they need water and stuff if there's too much or too less water it won't work and one thing why Chernobyl could be where it is is that in the region there is found Uranium and these kind of things, probably, I don't know. Which also would indicate that there could be this kind of electrical charge or anomaly in the ground, let's put it like that. Because if there is uranium and stuff in the ground, it will still attract whatever electricity is coming from somewhere else. So let's see how it goes with us in the next few days. I don't know how China is coping the floods with those nuclear reactors and stuff they have there. I guess Middle Europe had a little bit problems last summer with all those uh, thunderstorms and floods and stuff because all those nuclear plants are on rivers. And rivers are the places where the dragon once roamed. It came where the river goes. That's why we have rivers and mountains. There is a whole lot more electricity available in the universe than anyone ever has imagined. Quite sure. I leave it here. Chernobyl is a really nice place. <laughs> and I will I guess it will stay like that because it will be left alone for the most of the time. Thanks. Bye.